This video will walk through navigating between documents. You can go to a new document and create a new document, uh, or you can go to the My Documents and navigate some of the folders and directory structures and open up documents. Typically, we'll be sending you documents uh, through the Wi-Fi network, but I have a document open right now about rational numbers. So if I go to that, um, you can see a document has pages. The pages themselves can be calculator pages. This is a note page. On the next screen, there's a split note page and a graph page. Um, but if we go back, we can go navigate between the, the document by clicking up at the top, or probably more commonly going control right to go right one page, and control left to go back one page. You can also press control up if you want to see a view of what the document will look like with all pages. And we can click on a page that we want and go directly there. So we're going to go ahead and go control right and move to this next page. You'll see that this page it says drag the point left and right to see the changing real number values. Well, I can click on this point on your keypad, you're going to want to do either control click with a control and a central click, or you're going to click on this and hold until you see it, kind of the hands pinch around it, and then you can drag it left and right once it's held like that. To get out of that, you can always press escape up here to undo what you just did. If I go forward another page, I'll see an example where I have a note page here and a student response. When you type a response in, this thing says give an example of a number that would not give a real number. So 9 divided by 0 would not be a real number. I would press tab to actually submit that. And if you can see the tab button here is highlighted showing I pressed that. If you're connected on the Wi-Fi network, that will send the response back to me so I can tally the entire class's responses and see. We can go control right again. We see another note page. And if I can go control right one more time, I have a different type of graphing window here. Um, they have what they call sliders. These sliders are done kind of like buttons. I'm going to hover my cursor over, and I'm going to press up or down and change the values. And as I change that, you'll see the point here changing, as well as the P over Q value here changing. This is so you can see the effect of changing different variables on certain types of numbers. Uh, we'll be using these sliders at various points, so you might want to get used to them. Sometimes you may want not want to be working in a document that I've created. You may want to create your own. Go back to the home screen, hit New Document. It will ask if you want to save changes. Typically, if it's one I've sent you, you don't have to. Uh, you can hit No. And then you'll see this screen that says, what type of thing do you want to add? Again, they're probably in order of how common you would be adding them. In this class, you'll be working mostly with the calculator and the graph parts. In future classes, you can add geometry um, and do lists and spreadsheets for statistics. Uh, data and statistics would be more for graphs. Notes is literally just that, taking or showing notes. And the Bernier data quest is if we have any calipers, if we have any instruments that we can use to acquire data. So we add a calculator. You'll see this screen. This is just a little bit different than what you would see on the scratch pad if I hit that and brought up a calculator. Again, you can always close the scratch pad by clicking this X window here or by just going to the home screen and going back to the current document, number four. Um, this screen is what you would expect in most of your calculators. You can do any sort of number operations, multiply, divide, um, add, subtract, uh, as well as some other operations. You can also go back home and add a graph. And this brings up an xy axis and an f of x equals, which is where you'd enter the equation that you're trying to graph. In both of these, the menu button will bring up a set of other options that you can do. The menu button for the calculator will bring up a ton of calculator options, whereas the menu button, and see to get out of this, I need to press escape, and then escape again. If I go over to the other graph page, this menu button will bring up a different set of options, things that you would do with a graph. We'll explore some of those in a later video.